Hello from afar, Class of 2020 and other viewers. The past few months have not gone as anyone planned. But thanks to your flexibility and willingness to make the best of a tough situation, we've continued to move forward in a time when it would be easiest to stand still. You've all made a difference by staying home and protecting your fellow Vermonters, and also by staying connected with, un with one another. Stay strong and keep it up. Before I address the class directly, there are several important groups of people to recognize. Firstly, an enormous thank you to our parents and guardians. What can I say? You've been our mentors ever since we were learning to walk and talk, and you've guided us through a world that is at times tough to navigate. The unending support you've given us has been nothing short of magical, and the commitment you've shown to us has been nothing short of inspirational. We cannot thank you enough. Teachers, we won't soon forget the time we spent with you learning and laughing, and the invaluable lessons you've taught us have helped us transition into adulthood. And to the rest of the faculty, as well as to the other community members that have helped us on our journey through high school, our gratitude is undying. Thank you. And now, to the members of the class of 2020, congratulations, you've made it. Last August, many of us were energized by the start of our senior year, like the jolt of adrenaline that lifts a runner over the finish line. However, instead of the satisfaction of bursting proudly through the ribbons strung across the finish line, we have, quite honestly, tripped, face-planted, and skidded to the end. Still, though, we have made it. Receiving a diploma takes only a short moment, but is preceded by countless hours of work and dedication. We overcame each challenge that arose along the way with aplomb, and the last few months prove it. But before we pick ourselves up and move forward, it's important to look back from where we came. In a time when we were forced to strip our lives down to the essentials, we asked ourselves, what is truly important? Supposedly, the most important essential activity remained, yet many of us struggled throughout the past few months. Without the convenience of everyday life and the connections and efficiency that comes along with it, we were uncomfortable. And of course, it's reasonable to be uncomfortable when life is uprooted, but much of what we missed can be traced back to the convenience that life had before we were sent home. It seems that the convenience of a task has become one of the most prominent markers of a task's worth, a role it probably shouldn't have. Now, I don't think I'm in a position to be, to be attempting to impart hidden wisdom or truths to you, but I will bring your attention to an important warning. Beware convenience. Convenience often muddies rationality and morality at its confluence with each. Tasks are becoming easier than they ever have been. We can fetch entire databases of information in only a few seconds. Entertainment consists of two or three clicks on a remote and a day in front of the TV screen. And our thoughts are supposed to fit conveniently into 280 characters. Convenience has its place, and sometimes the simplest choice is the best. However, when convenience trumps moral reasoning or ethical reasoning or even a rational thought process, life becomes one-dimensional and unfulfilling because what is most convenient is to float through life, letting our surroundings make the decisions for us. The world needs, and has always needed, people who don't simply default to the convenient choice, because people who do not shy away from challenging themselves or from persevering through tough times are the people who change the world. The class of 2020 is well prepared to fill that need. Among it are future doctors, politicians, programmers, engineers, scientists, and artists. And I know those people, you, my amazing classmates, will not go through life idly. Your years at Woodstock have prepared you to champion life and to work towards solutions rather than removing yourself from a problem. Even as young adults, your passion has brought you to great heights. You've organized and attended climate rallies, joined arms in protests to fight injustice in our country, participated in service trips and internships. You've led and created clubs for our student body to engage with been on exchange trips, and you've proven a million times over your willingness to better the world around you, even if it means dealing with inconvenience. As you move away from Woodstock Union High School and forward into the world, do not let that quality fade, because your eagerness to help will change lives, both your own and those of the people you meet along the way. Soon we'll all be embarking on new journeys, and many of us will be heading separate ways, which is a sad thought, but it's also a marker of maturity and growth. You're ready to move on and do exciting, inspiring, awesome things with your lives. Class of 2020, go forward, but remember you will always have a place 
among your fellow wasps. And also, don't forget that Howell's grades count. Thank you and congratulations.